Hi, Mr. Richards here. Today's lesson is in grade seven, unit five now. We're interpreting negative numbers. We're going to compare rational numbers and use rational numbers to describe temperature and elevation. If we look at the warm up for this lesson, here is a weather thermometer. Three of the numbers have been left off. What numbers go in the boxes? Well, this is measured in degrees Celsius. And Celsius is another temperature scale similar to Fahrenheit, but this is where when Fahrenheit uh, 32 degrees is freezing, it's zero degrees Celsius. Either way, we can look at this thermometer and notice that we're counting by fives. We go from zero to five, and then we'll go to 10 degrees Celsius, 15, 20, 25 degrees Celsius, then 30. Now, as we go down 10, five, zero, in between zero and negative 10 has to be negative five. Now, what temperature does the thermometer show? Well, if we're right there. We're somewhere between zero and negative five. Well, if we're between zero and negative five, we're around at this point, negative two degrees Celsius. Let's continue on to our next example. fractions of a degree. We are looking for what temperature is shown on each thermometer. And then we'll get to the other questions. Looking at A, this appears to be, if we start here at zero, one, two, three, four. So A is four degrees here. B, or well, we call it thermometer B, I suppose, right? Here at zero, but counting down, we're at negative one, negative two, negative three. So this is negative three degrees. And the next one looks like we're in the positives again, but this time we're at five, in between five and six. So this must be around five and a half degrees. And then our last thermometer, we're in the negatives again, but where are we? Negative one, negative two, but in between negative one and negative two would be negative one and a half degrees. So which thermometer shows the highest temperature? Well, if we go first, second, third, and fourth, the thermometer that shows the highest temperature is the third at five and a half degrees. The lowest temperature is the second one at negative three degrees. And then suppose the temperature outside is negative four degrees Celsius. Is that colder or warmer than the coldest temperature shown? The coldest temperature shown is negative three degrees Celsius. We're looking at negative four degrees Celsius. Well, just looking at this thermometer here, we're at zero, negative one, negative two, negative three, negative four would be colder. So negative three is greater than negative four degrees. And so is negative four colder? Yes, negative four degrees Celsius is colder. That says colder. <laughs> Let's go on to our next example. Seagulls soar, sharks swim. Here is a picture of some sea animals. The number line on the left will show the vertical position of each animal above or below sea level in meters. And so we're going to be going back and forth between these here. Or we can just kind of zoom out right here and hopefully answer these questions. All right. How far above or below sea level is each animal? Measure to their eye level. Well, let's start up top here with the seagull. Here's the eye level. It looks to be at 
10 meters. So we'll label this one at 10 meters. Next, let's go down to the dolphin. Here's the dolphin's eye. Right around here, let's call this three meters. Now the penguin, right here, we're at zero meters or right at sea level, so zero meters. And then, don't wanna get any copyright violations here, but baby shark, see I'm not gonna finish it. We're down here. <laughs> Now, this looks like we're at negative three meters. Continuing to work our way down. Here's an eye level right there. This is the fish. If we bring this across, we look to be around negative seven meters. And finally, we have the octopus. The eyes are here. We're at negative 10 meters. Now, it says a mobula ray is three meters above the surface of the ocean. How far or how does its vertical position compare with the height of the jumping dolphin, the flying seagull, or the octopus? Well, if the mobula ray is at three meters, that's right here. So let's see how we can compare these. It's asking about the dolphin. Well, if we're at three meters for both, it's going to be uh, the same, so zero meters. Now the flying seagull, the seagull's up here at 10 meters. The ray's at three meters, so we're going to be seven meters below that seagull. What about the octopus? Well, the octopus is down here at negative 10. The ray is at three. So from negative 10 to zero, that's a distance of 10 meters. We're three more meters up, so we are now 13 meters above the octopus. Next, we have the albatross. An albatross is five meters above the surface of the ocean. So let's label that in here just so we can have a reference. Here's the albatross is at five meters and don't get me to try to draw that thing. How does its vertical position compare to the height of the jumping dolphin? Well, the jumping dolphin is below it, is it not? Jumping dolphins here at three meters. And so the albatross is two meters above said dolphin. What about the flying seagull? Well, here's the seagull at 10 meters. The albatross is at five meters. So the albatross is five meters below this seagull. And then finally we have this octopus all the way down here. And the albatross, five to zero, that's distance of five. From zero to negative 10, that's 10 more. So this octopus is 15, or the, um, sorry, the albatross is 15 meters above the octopus. And now we get to the clownfish. It's two meters below the surface of the ocean. And so let's get this clownfish going here. The clownfish is going to be at negative two meters, two meters below the ocean. How does its vertical position compare to the height of, or depth of the jumping dolphin? The dolphin, once again, is at three meters. The clownfish is below, so we're going to go from three to zero. That's a distance of three. Down to negative two is two more, so that's a distance of five meters. And the clownfish is five meters below this jumping dolphin. The seagull, way up high in the sky, 
is at 10 meters and the clownfish is way down here. So from 10 to zero, that's a distance of 10. And then two more meters takes us to negative two. And so we're 12 meters below this seagull. And the octopus that's all the way down here is at negative 10. We're now at negative two, so to get from negative two to negative 10, that's a distance of eight meters. So we're eight meters above this octopus. Now, the vertical distance of a new dolphin from the dolphin in the picture is three meters. What is its distance from the surface of the ocean? We are three meters above or below the dolphin. Well, if I go three meters up, I'm at six meters. If I go three meters down, I'm at zero meters. And you have to consider both answers. So we're either at zero meters or six meters, depending on, that's an, says on, above or below the dolphin in the picture. All right, let's continue on. And now this is an optional activity with card sort. And you're going to order the cards from least to greatest. Then you get a second set of cards. And then you order these cards from least to greatest. But adding in the first set as well. So somewhere here... I have these cards, and so you have the first set here of integers from, I'm going to order these from least. Set one already is an order from least to greatest. So hopefully if you did this in a classroom setting, these would already be cut up for you, so you can put them in order, but negative 23, negative 10, negative 9, negative 7, negative 6, negative 4, negative 3, negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 10, 11, 15, 22, 23. And then looking over here at set two, these are rational numbers that are not integers. And so I'm going to go ahead and write the complete list here. And so we'll start with negative 23 being the smallest. After that is negative 22 and 3 eighths. Negative 31 thirds, negative 9, negative 7 and 7 tenths, negative 7, negative 6, negative 5 and 5, 6, negative 4, negative 3, negative 8 thirds, negative 2 and a half, negative 2, negative 9 eighths, negative 1, negative 1 fourth, 0, 1 fourth, 1, 9 eighths, 2, 2 and a half, 8 thirds, 3 and a, or 3, 5, 5 and 5, 6, 7 and 7 tenths, 8, 10, 31 thirds, 11, 15, 22, 22 and 3 eighths, and 23. Now, if we look at our cooldown here, here is a set of signed numbers. 7, negative 3, 1 half, negative 8 tenths, 8 tenths, negative 1 and a tenth, and negative 2. Order the numbers from least to greatest. Our smallest number is negative 3. Now, our next integer is negative 2. And then we have to go between negative 8 tenths and negative 1 tenth. Well, negative 8 tenths is smaller, followed by negative 1 tenth. Then we're left with the fraction 1 half, then 8 tenths, then positive 7. So that's question 1. Question 2, if these temperatures represent temperatures, in degrees Celsius, which is the coldest? Well, negative 3. And lastly, if these elevations represent elevations in meters, which is the farthest away from sea level? Well, the smallest negative we have is negative 3. 
the biggest positive we have is 7. Negative 3 is 3 away from 0, 7 is 7 away from 0, and so 7 represents the furthest away from sea level. So, a couple key takeaways from this lesson. Negative numbers can be used to represent quantities below a chosen zero point. Negative numbers can be ordered to the left side of zero on a horizontal number line. An absolute value or magnitude describes how far away from zero a value is. And so, if you looked at that negative 3 and 7 on this exit ticket cooldown again, the absolute value of 7 is 7. The absolute value of negative 3 is 3. It represents 3 units from 0 or 7 units from 0. And it helps us answer questions like if these elevate or questions represent elevations in meters, which is the furthest or farthest away from sea level. 7 is farther from sea level than negative 3. And we'll call that good. That's it for this lesson, which was grade 7, unit 5. Five, lesson one, interpreting negative numbers. Good luck.